it's December 9th and I'm so late to decorating for Christmas. I normally decorate the day after Thanksgiving, like that's when Christmas time starts to me. That was two weeks ago and I still haven't decorated because I got COVID right after Thanksgiving and I'm kind of just now feeling 100% normal again. I'm COVID negative, I don't have any symptoms, I'm like free to go out into the world again. Also, I was planning on driving to Florida for Christmas in my van but my van is having issues and so I'm gonna stay here, deal with that and probably try and sell it. And I got booked on like a last minute work shoot for just a couple days after Christmas. So I am staying in New York for Christmas, which doesn't always happen. And so I wanna make my home feel really like cozy and Christmassy. I actually stayed in the city last year and had a really cute dinner with friends. So we'll probably do something like that again. But I didn't decorate last year. I actually haven't had a Christmas tree since I got Greta back in 2019. <laughs> She's just an absolute menace to almost everything I bring into this apartment. So I just know she would destroy a Christmas tree. I haven't even bothered experimenting with that and they're too expensive anyway. The other day I asked about a tiny little tree at one of the Christmas tree stands in my neighborhood just to see and the smallest one there was $65. I am not paying $65 for a tree that I'm gonna throw away in like two and a half weeks. I'm gonna sound like an old lady telling this story, but when David and I moved to Brooklyn back in 2015, it was my first time ever having a real Christmas tree. And we got a tree from our bodega that was taller than me for $45. And I know this for a fact because it's recorded in a video. <laughs> 45. With the sand and yeah. I can't imagine how much that costs now. I kind of want to ask just out of like curiosity, but there's no way. There's no way. I'm thinking like, 300 at this point to be honest. So yeah, no tree. I want to get stockings. I think that would be cute. Maybe some like garlands and ribbons and just small things that I can hang <laughs> out of Greta's reach and that will be easy for me to store because I don't have a ton of storage space. So I'm going to go into Manhattan. There is a Christmas store in Little Italy. It's actually a year-round Christmas store. I imagine it's going to be insane today because it is a Saturday with like beautiful weather, but it'll be interesting. <laughs>
I ended up going out with friends, had a great night, so I didn't decorate. The Christmas in New York store ended up being kind of a failure <laughs> because almost everything in there was specifically for a Christmas tree. Like it was all ornaments and stars. One of the things that I was looking for were stockings and I found a very small section of like two or three different stockings and they were all over $30. And so I didn't get anything from the Christmas store. I ended up walking into Chinatown just kind of for fun because I love Chinatown. Chinatown. <laughs> to the East Village. The most affordable places to go Christmas shopping in New York City are dollar stores, especially in Chinatown, bodegas, hardware stores might be the number one place. On my way to meet my friends in the West Village, I passed by this Halloween store. It's become a Christmas store during December, which I had no idea. Okay, let me show you what I got yesterday. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm really proud of this find because these were only $2 each and I got three of them. I don't need anything fancy, like I'm not gonna put anything in them, you know? I also feel like they're very classic. <sighs> I got this from a bodega in the East Village and I just thought it was really pretty. This was $6. Just having a red bow somewhere like this, this is, this is Christmas. Oh, this was $18. Wow, I didn't realize I spent so much money on this. I just think it's so beautiful and it's really good quality. $18? God, what was I thinking? <laughs> okay, so this is from the Halloween store. Look at this bow. Oh, I wish I'd gotten more of these. That is so pretty. Greta, don't eat that. That's not real. <gasps> Greta's trying to eat the garland. <laughs> she just bit off this tiny little piece of the garland. I've literally just begun to unpack this stuff. I feel like this was an impulse buy, but I also really love it. I think this is so pretty. This is gonna be your favorite thing, isn't it? I thought that this would be really nice to hang on one of my plants. Maybe my big ficus lyrata tree. And this was only $8. I bought three packs of red light. I'm so attracted to the color red lately. I feel like colors go in cycles throughout my life. For a long time, I was just obsessed with green. That's why so many things in my apartment are green. But lately, I've just really gravitated towards red. Red used to be my favorite color when I was little, so I don't know. I feel like I'm coming back to my childhood self a little bit. And then my last decoration, which might be my favorite. It's just very nostalgic to me. It's this little porcelain tree, which I bought a couple years ago, specifically because it reminds me of a very similar tree that I had when I was a kid in Vegas. All of the lights pulled out and you can move them around. And it was just such a visceral, lovely memory. One final thing that I am counting as my Christmas decor. <laughs> These cedar scented candles from Trader Joe's. They smell exactly like Christmas trees to me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I've been burning these nonstop and I actually recently got two more. I want one in every single room and I don't want to run out before Christmas. I honestly might go get more because I have such a small apartment. It just takes one candle to really fill the space with the smell of Christmas tree. Like it's, it's wild. I don't know how they do it. Oh, it gives me that same like satisfaction without all of the little pine needles everywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and light one of these up. I wanna get that ambiance going, you know what I mean? Oh, oh. Okay, I'm so excited. just doesn't look good. <laughs> okay, I just hung the beads here. Oh no, oh god. 
Oh no. In the door. I think that's really cute. I love it. It's gonna make me happy every time I walk out the door. You make me happy every time I walk in the door. I'm so shocked at how good everything looks on such a budget. Everything is pretty cheap, but also pretty classic. I guess the garland was kind of expensive. That was $18. I'm probably gonna have that garland until I die. The only thing left to do is to turn on my beautiful, tiny Christmas tree. It doesn't look that great on camera. It is so beautiful. This is truly magical. I've really only had one real Christmas tree. Growing up in Florida, that's not really a thing that is available. So we always had plastic tree. I've gone no tree for almost five years now. New York City apartments are too small for Christmas trees. Like unless you're rich or just somehow have a lot of space, which like in my first apartment with David, we just happened to have a completely empty apartment because we had just moved in and didn't have any furniture. And so we had plenty of room for a Christmas tree. I genuinely don't know what I would do. I don't know where I would put one. I would be so tempted to buy like 50 ornaments, especially at that store yesterday. Oh my gosh. Some of those ornaments were really, really cool. I officially feel like my apartment is full of Christmas spirit. I'm especially happy about this. Like it's unreal how happy this makes me. The most special thing about Christmas is just like a feeling of nostalgia that often comes from whatever you were exposed to when you were a kid. I had kind of a chaotic childhood where things were different almost every year. And so for there to be like this one thing Thing for me to hold on to that brings me that feeling. I feel so grateful for that. It's hard to navigate as an adult. I think it's important to do all of these like little things that we have available in order to keep the magic alive. Life is short. We deserve these little bits of magic.